Okay, so I kind of failed when I tried to remember to record this. Um, so here I go. So I'm just going to show you real quick what I've been working on. So this here, if it shows on the LCD, is my circuit. Now what I tend to do is go file print and I'll just send it to my Epson printer here. No, can't focus. Um, I'll go OK. I then place this board Note the little slit there so that the uh, paper sensor can get tricked. So I'll print the board by first using a handy dandy heat gun. Heat the position up first. Let it print or fake print. It'll say it's out of paper. I just move it up just to this screw site right there. Hold it in, or hit print and hold it in. It prints. Then I have a perfect pattern on, again, blurry, sorry, this. Then I'll take my copper clad after cleaning it with acetone and a scotch bright scrubbing pad. They work really well for that. I'll align it up, and then to keep it in place, I have these two uh, pieces of scrap uh, printed circuit board, and I'll just tape them using cellophane tape. It comes off really easily, uh, especially after it's heated and melted a bit. So I'll wedge it in between there. I'll put a tiny bit of tape on the edges just to make sure that it doesn't move after, while going through the printer. And then I'll do the same. I'll heat it up so that when it goes through, the ink tends to dry uh, on contact or partially on contact. And then what I'm left with is a, is a pattern of the board that you just saw on my computer screen. Then after that, I'm going to have to take some photos first, so I'm not going to dunk it in right now. These containers that seal are great for uh, ferric chloride. I haven't tried uh, the hydrochloric acid and uh, peroxide yet. I've kind of been looking at that since it's a little more environmentally friendly. And there's the black disgusting stuff that the board goes into to etch. So hopefully I'll actually have a live demo of this uh, when I make my actual LED boards. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, this has been my little mini explanation of how my printer works.